then on mark one, mark two, Granada. National Bank has the first seat of the night, an early drama. Sees 91 go around and he gets corrected by the 27th car of Jake Fowler to cause an early pile up down here on the turn. Middle of that brother Brett, just down the spun. Down the Stroud, for a head on shot. 95, Dave Moore comes to great for the top turn. And it's 449, Mark Thomason leads. Oh, actual the turn, a straight eight lump is going to put head 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 by the way, Harry Bradbury into the fence. As we are underway in racing. Oh, and they are getting stuck in as we knew they would. Ricky Stroud does what he does best, a big hit to lump. And the rest coming through as 165, the Reaper piles three double one, helm into a Stroudy. And likewise, Bam Bam buries 884 in the 7, 7.32 with a little opposite attack on 8.84, Tommy Filmer in any hopes these guys are going to take it easy. Has gone the pot as Steve Shaw is trashed by a lump on the pitch turn. The sound of boys doing what they do best. And the Stroud brothers as well, equally entertaining. 4.49, Mark Thomas leads them through. An explosive first three laps to this opening heat for the All-Granada National Hangers. Meanwhile, the high action there is 288. Carl Sauer, London, the 913 brother, Brett seems the limousine around. 27, Jake Fowler collects 732, and he will be the next victim of Lump. What a performance by Taylor Sauter in this opening heat. And he really is putting it about halfway next time. Thomas, please, halfway next time. The 449, Mark Thomas. On the back straight and leading comfortably. 164, Barry Cedric is second, 3-1, Helm is third. Although ominous black smoke coming from the back of Helm suggests that maybe there's a problem with the Granada coupe. And he spins Jake Fowler to the fence up in the top turn. Five to go next time, Thomas, please, for your leader. Uh, a very lively opening heat for the all Granada bangers. And Helm with that incredibly rotten Granada coupe getting slower and slower as he fires up the back of the equally struggling Barry Sedgwick and turns him around up on the road turn. No such drama though for Mark Thomas who has lapped the majority of the field in a fabulous drive. 449 leads, 301 still there in second, 165 is third. But he's now spun aside by 449 Mark Thomas who has now lapped everyone up to second and who would bet against him lapping the field by the time this one starts, Helm is really struggling with some rear damage to that Granada Coupe. Van Helm struggling just to keep that car going in a straight line. Comes under attack now from 350. And uh, in comes 449 to spin around or attack 350. 449 has now lapped the entire field. 449 leads. It is 91 now up to second, Thomas, but a lap down on this man. Here they come, the final lap proving quieter as they race their way through into the closing stages. 91 in second and 2 double eight being shown in third. And lively stuff from the lower graded drivers in their heat race tonight. The rest coming through as 27 comes to grief up on the top turn and Mark Thomas picks his way through. In one, 288, Sauter having a go at 350, sure. And what's he going to do with him here on the turn? As 449 wins it, we can go red flag straight away, Thomas. Red flags, please, to end the racing in our first heat race of the night for the National Bangers.
So over to you, Thomas, please, as quickly as we can for National Bank. Here we go again, all mark one, mark two, Granada bangers, but uh, perhaps you could argue maybe the, the bigger boys in this one. And uh, some of the top drivers in the game, especially in rear wheel drive, set the battling out here. And we are off in racing. And early action, see 67, Sonny Blaine, beautifully turned around, 242, Ricky Corpiella, right here in front of us. And don't be surprised if this is a more of a racing affair. This one, the drivers in the higher grades. It's 2 and 18, Clennon loses it a little bit here in front of us. 1 2 2, Ron Davis is your leader. 77, Patch Beasley in second place. 3 7 0, oh, Mark French in that beautiful Granada Coupe in third. And then number 90, Adrian Harmon in four. But 6 7 3, Darren Fenley goes around up on the top turn. We lose 43, Nicky Bishop on the road turn as well. As we expected, a much racier affair this time. Through they all come, it's 313, Craig Osborne moves 67, Ricky Beasley aside, 800, Romeo coming through that beautifully turned out Granada Coupe. Up on the top turn, 370, Butts Hicks with the number 90 car of Joe 90 and 122. Ron Davis beautifully spins aside, 218 Lee Clellan. 313, Craig Osborne keep an eye on him and Darren Fenley, they are battling it out for the third RDC place in the World Championship grid at Ipswich in a few weeks. And Craig Osborne's got a blown tyre. And that is going to be a big dent to his hopes. Halfway, we've got state number one, Pete Winter at the end of the home straight. So he's in a very vulnerable position up there at the top end of the raceway. Great to see Pistol Pete, though, back on the wheel of a classic Granada. Just something about that feels so right. One, two, two leads. 77 in second. Number 90, and 3 the race of third. Five to go, Thomas, please. This time by, as these drivers stretch their legs, and 43 has crashed in on the back of eight, number one pistol, Pete, up on the road turn, the wild boy. Rest going through, 77. And payback's a big hit as well, a shot from Alice on Bish, up on the road turn, decimating the wild boy. 77, Patch Beasley takes the lead from 122, but Ron Davis lunges back at 77. And around goes 77 in the race for the lead. 122 leads. Back in front, Ron Davis. And here's the race for second, 379, he closes the gap. 262, Buster God and 203, Nasher. The next to show. That's 122, Ron Davis. Leading them down the back straight, but Frenchie and Joe 90 getting closer and closer. As 203 Nasher has gone in on Fish as well. And Alice again! Massive shot to Darren Nash! What a train! Up on the road turn! 67 comes the great as Patch Beasley puts victory in the fence here in front of us. Last lap, 1 2 2, your leader. 90, 370 chasing hard, 262 in 328, and some tremendous action up on the road turn. As the checker flag is getting prepared, does French have anything left in the last turn? He's going to go for it, but he doesn't quite get there. 122, two, Ron Davis will win it. 370 second, number 90 in third, and 262 in fourth. The rest coming through for the spots and the positions. Call it now, red flag please, Thomas, red flags please, to end racing in heat number two tonight.
Over to you then, Thomas, please. Non-starter on the back straight. Let's go racing, Thomas, please, with tonight's third heat for the National Bangers. So here we go, a big field of over 30 cars and a promise of Brett Osborne at the start. Doesn't quite get off the mark, but uh, now does. It goes around the media on the turn. It's whacked to the rear wheel by Bam. And now hit head on as well by Joe Knighty. As we get underway in racing. Drama on the back straight, sees 43 Bish. Spins 77. End of the fence at 122 goes in with a solid hit through the rear wheel of 43. And it is Ron Davis who leads. As the Renardas get up to speed, we've lost Lee Cleland on the back straight, 218. 1 2 2, Ron Davis, earlier heat winner, leading the way in heat number three for the All Granada National Bangers. And 714, Paul Smalden in his first race of the night gets running again, 370 is in second. As a Helm turns around here in 242 court, that's hit to his spot. 449, Mark Thomas, we lose some more into the pile on the pitch turn as we fight on in tonight's all-in heat for the Granada Bangers. Leader goes through. 27, Jake Fowler in trouble on the pit bend as Brett Osborne winds out. 949 and then goes crashing into the stricken. 27 and gets nailed by 370 Frenchy, which spins around the Granada coupe. 122 is your leader. 3.50 now, taking it up, Thomas, Steve Shaw. As a 9.13, Brother Brett reverses 96, bam, into the infield blocks. We race on, we've lost the 122 cars. It's a new man up front in tonight's third heat for the All Granada Mangas. As they fight their way through, Barry Sedgwick gets turned around, and Patch Beasley homes in for a solid head on, and then gets one at the jump from Frenchy and it's 3 double one now is taking it up but Helm gets involved with the stricken Pat Beasley and Helm has gone as well so we have another new leader five to go this time as on the top bend Sonny Black gives Frenchy a big shove 673 six, Darren Fenley now leads as 800 Romeo buries 913 brother Brett and 85 Ellis having a good go at 328 Dan Latham Right, so through, 733 Stroud, he turns around to thump the 288 car of Carl Sauter, 673, the track champion, Darren Fenley leading the way, 67 being shown in second, as on the back straight, 328 Lakeland spins 165 in the fence, and 884, Tommy Filmer turns around for a payback here on Stroudy, and then 714 no show, stuffs Nasher in the streck and 733. And now, Carl Sauter will turn around to administer a revenge head on the Stroudy. They fight their way through in tonight's third bang of heat. And 288 turning it around and again goes in with an almighty hit. An almighty revenge in the Stroudy. 242 getting involved in 67 Beasley, Flans Corpse. 203 Nasher getting involved in the DD as 2AA again pounds Stroudy. The rest fight their way through. Victor getting buried by Tommy Filmer. Into the dying stages. Checker flag is uh, on its way. And it's 673 Darren Fenley who will win another lively heat from the All Granada Bangers as Joe Knighty and Romeo go around. Meanwhile, coming off the final turn, checkered flag is at the ready, and Darren Fenley wins heat three for the bangers. The rest come through for the spots and the positions and the places. Keep them coming, please, Thomas. Keep them coming through. Got a red flag then, Thomas, please. Red flags to end racing in tonight's third heat for the Granada Bangers.
here we go again with your Granada Bangers and uh, action from the World Goers. One more late Victor puts away Ricky Beasley and uh, Patch goes in for a revenge hit. I think I got that in the water. And oh, and another huge hit there here as Mike Osborne floats up to the Collins with a massive hit. And they never had the wrong way around with the Beasleys, but they saw themselves out. Oh, as Helm finds Victor, they continue their feud. And he gives him the bone, and then in behind, Tommy Filmer blows up Ron Davis with a huge hit after Davis went in on Helm. We've lost Lump in front of us, and these drivers are not holding back tonight. Gary National leads 237. All Granada National Bangers, old school banger racing tonight. And after that early flurry, things now settle down a little bit. Great to see Lee Bradley in the three race now and Ron Granada Cook tonight. As one, two, two, Ron Davis turns it around and gives it to Lump down here in front of us. Buster Golden gets himself back into the running. As the rest race on in tonight's grand final for the National Bangers. 714, Paul Smolden is your race leader. Halfway and next time, Thomas. Halfway next time, Darren Friendly goes around and Buster Golden wins 164, Sedgwick. 3 double one Helm dumps out Bam Bam on the home straight. 714, no show leads with five to go. Do they all come? And it looks like 714 leading comfortably here. Helm gagging at the end of the straight. And Tommy Filmer will nail the Motley Crew two. Driver on the back straight now as AA4 goes in hard. And gets flattered by teammate Carl Sauter. On the back straight. 237, Nasher turning around the stop of James Ellis with a head on. 714, no show leads. Meanwhile, all drama there with 313, Craig Osborne collecting Nasher and he is destroyed by Lump. What a night's nice crashing. And they ain't done as Nasher now goes in on 208, Salta. 714, Paul Smalder leads the way. James Ellis now firing into 122, Ron Davis. Oh, and a fire on the top turn. And we'll go red flags, Thomas. Red and checkered. Got a fire on the top turn. Man, he's got a fire on the top turn. a big one. Reds are out. It's a red and checkered. Big fire for Taylor Sauter. And we're in the final five. So the red and checkered's coming out. We'll bring you the full result in just a moment. Up next, the Heritage Stock Cars with their grand final. evening with tonight's accumulator qualifier for the National Bangers and uh, Tommy Filmer limping down the back straight so even and it's 43 Nicky Bishop who is going to set the early pace from the wild boys here he comes 43 leads number 90 in second position as uh, we lose two double eight to Carl Sauter he will rejoin on the back straight on the raceway 3-1-3, coming to grief! Oh, what a hit from Lump! Oh, Craig Osborne, number 90, the new race leader. And 
looks like a lump could be done after an absolutely epic hit. On the pitch turn, 188 Victor getting stuck in a 884 Filmer. My apologies, 288 Carl Sauter is having the nibble at. 90 leads, 85 second, James Ellis in the Granada limo. So we continue. And it's now 85, James Ellis, who's taking it up halfway. Next time, please, Thomas is Fenley winds out Barry Sedgwick on the back straight. Mick Maskell Jr. is struggling. 6-7-3 up the second, 188 in third. As we continue, 2 double eight. Carl Sauter going around here in front of us. Will anyone apply? It's four to go next time, please. Four laps to go next time by. 3 double eight slump and 164 Sedgwick both get themselves back into the event. And pitch turn, Ellis who's leading it. Thunders in, Nicky Bishop. And Ellis still leading even though he snapped it. We race on in tonight's accumulator qualifier. Joe 90 coming to grief and has a pop here at uh, Lump as he goes past. And more action as War Boy Revenge as Fowler puts 85 in the 313. 673 rebound shown as a lead. 85 Ellis reverses into the path of the 714. Oh, it's Cedric finds Ellis for a T-bone hit. And what's going to happen now? Fenley surely looking to try and win it. And he gets stuffed by South. And Fenley has gone. Victor takes it up. One lap this time by Thomas. One lap for one double eight. Darren Fenley has gone in front of us. Now gets himself back into the race. One to run for one double eight. John Reeves was on the back straight. Jake Fowler collects the stricken. Three, two, seven in spins. We continue with tonight's accumulator qualifier for the National Bangers. As 288 Sauter lunges at 164 and 188 Victor wins the accumulator qualifier. And 714 is going to fire the first shot with a hit to 288 Carl Sauter. Go green, Thomas, please, as soon as you can. Green flag, please. Let's get this DD underway. And hope these guys don't keep us waiting too long. 884, Tommy Filmer attacks and dumps out the 714 car, no show. And if we can keep that green flag flying, please, Thomas. So there is no question, these guys know that the DD has begun. And it begins up on the road turn as number 90, Joe 90 has blown up. 884, Tommy Filmer with a big hit, and it could all come to a conclusion. Up on the top turn, and they go in. Victor blows up 90, Sedgwick, and in they go again. That's no show. Who's destroyed Victor? Is there anyone left to go in? My apologies, trying to make out the identity of that driver up on the road turn. It's Mick Maskell Jr. who's gone in on no show. Will anyone emerge? They will. And it's 288 who's gone in on Mick Maskell Jr. He was the man who blew up Victor and then got destroyed by Maskell. And no show after stumbling has got it running and destroys Carl Sauter up on the road turn. And Lump, who has been out of it for too long, gets it running, but hopefully let's let him have the big finish. Here they come. No showing love. And they knew what we wanted. Big head on. And we can go red flags, please, Thomas, to end our action tonight. And what a night it's been. One double eight, Victor wins the race. Seven one four, no show is second. Six seven three, Darren Fenley is third. The destruction derby goes to seven one four, no show from three to seven. Mick Maskell Jr. in two double eight, Carl Sauter, they tie for second place. And just having a quick look for uh, your entertainer award winner. There's quite a few people that are impressed in that. Um, la -di -da -di -da. And yeah, we're gonna go with number 85, James Ellis, for throwing the lead away for a big hit, because to be fair, there weren't too many drivers that uh, had more than one hit.
two minutes.